Here. We're in Cornwall on a driven pheasant day at the end of January, hosted by Ollie Williams. Now, why is he walking like an old man? He explains, and it's not glamorous. Yeah, last day of the year, but sort of my, I suppose, first day back from this injury I've had. I had a great driven hunt in, in Germany, and uh, after the hunt, I, um, my hooker by crook fell off a balcony and fell a good, a fair way. And uh, more detail. I mean, fell off a balcony a fair way. That doesn't happen. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I mean, obviously, there's alcohol involved. There, you know, cool. God, God forbid. Slip, yeah. Minus 14, icy, um, and I just. It was ice, was it? Yeah, it was sheet ice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I managed to break my pelvis, break my ribs. Here we go. Ah! 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 Hey there, boys! I was being a very good host then, you see, letting most of that flush go down to my friends and then the, when they were reloading on that last bird, I thought... Anyway, back to where we were. Um, forward! I fell off this balcony and I think it was about two stories. It wasn't, it, you know, it, 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 human beings aren't really designed to... to, um... Ah! Here we go. Oh, Ollie, moron. But you do feel it then, that reaching for that, oh, that hurts slightly. Yeah, well, oh no, one barrel. Ah, ah that's a good bird. No, oh, she's got a bird, that's good. Now I'd love to tell her I told her to go and get that, but she, um, she, when I have a gun in my hand, she's good as gold when I'm Good girl, good girl. She's good as gold when I can concentrate on her, but as soon as I have a gun in my hand, and Mr. Templar warned me this would happen, she knows full well what, what the game is, so she knows I'm not paying attention to her, so she will go off and do her own thing. Forward, that's quite a nice bird, going down, it's coming back this way, is it? Forward, boy, Henry! That's what we like to see. <laughs> the whole line. Oh dear. 14 shots. Sorry, Stefan, your hard work's not really being brought to fruition at this point. Um, anyway, back to, the, back to the story. So, I was sat in, sat in an ambulance, and I do remember thinking, because I realised I was in a bit of trouble at this point, because they worry about my internal organs and all sorts. I just remember sitting in the ambulance, being like, what a crap way to die this would be. <laughs> you know, I had these wonderful visions of me being caught by a buffalo, you know, deepest, deepest Africa or whatever. But, uh, Oh, they're going for the pigeon. Um, but no, it, I, I, instead I was uh, sat in the back of a German ambulance feeling sorry for myself. So Death by balcony. Death by balcony, indeed. Ollie is the one with the disability sticker on his peg. It looks like those on better pegs are creating their own infirmities. It'd help if you take the safety off, Charles. <laughs> Despite the shooting, they do bring down birds. Guys, if we start making our way back to the, um, the bus. The next drive is a hanging wood, with birds flushing out over guns in fields below. The team of guns out today are a mixture of people from the world of game shooting, locals and other friends. Uh, some locals, some not. Basically a mixture of a couple of guys who I shoot with elsewhere, family, friends, a good bunch of guns. So, so you had uh, beaters yesterday and beaters tomorrow. This is your last day. Well, basically we just do the, the same drives the beaters did again. Um, if we've got enough birds and we have a few birds kicking about this year, so we're just doing the same drives again. This is supposed to be the year when shoots like yours have no birds at all because of bird flu and lack of supply and bird flu and how have you got over it? Well, I think, you know, it's, it's if you had it and you, you were unlucky enough to get bird flu, then yeah, you, you, were, you, were, you were either wiped out or severely hampered. But we got lucky and we had, obviously we had those issues with hex amateur earlier in the year. One of the guns out today is Ollie's Cornish spearfishing friend, Matt Coombe. I would say spearfishing is more, bit more like deer stalking than this driven day is, but there is a really good community, well, especially today. I mean, some of these chaps, I met them last night and we've had a good laugh last night and this morning. So there's definitely that with the, the similarities and we're going to eat what we shoot. Same spearfishing. When I, when I get home tonight, my daughter will be waiting for me to tell her what we're going to have for dinner tomorrow night, which I think is the best way to be. When you're four years old and you're excited about eating pheasant or eating bass or lobster or scallops or whatever I'm bringing home or deer, 
what a better way to be. It's not fish fingers and chicken nuggets in our house. <laughs> it is a day of changeable weather. Ollie moves the guns around to take advantage of where he reckons the birds will fly. If I was you, I'd go down through there. I don't think you'll get any shooting there. Okay, just have it come around Henry, go towards Harry. You're between Harry and Ali. So now as it's moving, you watch all the birds fight the wind and all of their, all their natural possible instincts and go exactly where I just moved them from. The weather brightens up for the next drive. I am standing with Digby Taylor, who works for online shoot finder Guns on Pegs, and like Ollie, is tempted by a high pigeon. What are the chances they're going to get that? <laughs> I mean, oh, is it coming over me? It's not coming over you because it's 35,000 feet. I mean, technically, it's coming over you just like the sun comes over you, but what's the point of shooting it? I, mean, it's I don't know. They're all going for the uh, the prize money at the end of the day at the minute. I think they are. Digby explains what guns on pegs can do for a shoot like this and why he loves this kind of shooting. Someone like this don't really use guns on pegs all that much. The odd day every now and then, but, um, uh, you know, an inquiry every year, building the waiting list, that's what it's all about, really. The topography is phenomenal. I mean, it's really, really quite special. And I love shooting on family days as well. I mean, there's nothing better than shooting with the family. Um, I know when you're shooting on a paid day, you're treated as a guest and all that. But um, a day like this at the end of the season with Ollie kindly hosting us is, um, yeah, it's really good fun. Tell me about next season. We couldn't have predicted COVID. We certainly mm. could have predicted the second year of COVID. And I don't think we could have predicted bird flu. No. So what's going to hit us next time? Well, I don't know. I mean, this year's been interesting because we worked out that we're about 30% down on birds put down this year, this season. And I thought it would make a bigger difference than it has. Um, and all of the days I've been on, certainly, I'm sure you'll attest to this, they just absolutely loved what they've been doing. And, you know, if the bag's a few light or you're not shooting partridge or whatever it is, I thought it would cause an issue. I thought people noticed, but it's just been, in a, you know, it's nice to get out, isn't it? Um, so that was, that was this year. Next year's an interesting one. Um, <laughs> when COVID hit, I was on our podcast strongly saying that COVID would be a two-week jobby. Um, and uh, the team at Guns on Pegs remind me of that nearly every fortnight. Um, so I'm always cautious about making predictions. Um, but it seems like people have diversified where they're getting their stock from. Um, the French game farm se seems to be optimistic. Um, we might be a bit light on partridge, is the, the talk at the minute, but um, so many people have you know, kept overwinter stock and that sort of thing that the, the, in the UK um, that the pheasants themselves. It's yours. Ah. <laughs> you caught my gun jamming. <laughs> Poor Digby. It is now mid-afternoon and there are only a couple of drives left. Time to find out how Ollie's broken bones are coping. Shooting with a cast on his wrist is not, he says, holding Ollie back. It's a bit clunky, but I'm sort of just holding it. I mean, I've got a bit of liquid movement in the fingers, so holding it in the fingers. Uh, not so much in the hand, as you can probably see. It's quite clunky there, but um, no, it's all right. We are in the woods in a steep-sided valley for the last couple oh. of drives, and this is where Cornish game shooting plays its ace. It's a great county for woodcock. At the end of the day, the bag is in the 70s, almost exactly the same as the bag the previous day, the beater's day. It's over and out for Ollie's family shoot for the 2022-2023 season. Thank you everybody, what a fantastic day. Uh, enjoy tomorrow. I won't be out, I'll go to the hospital appointment, but thank you so much for another amazing season.